we are uh, we are biological mass spectrometry group and we are especially interested in mass spectrometry imaging uh, we have three major project at the moment uh, the first one is uh, we are interested in developing uh, metabolomics in single cell resolution using mass spec imaging uh, for that project we are combining on tissue chemical derivatization with uh, some bioinformatics approach so that hopefully we can get uh, ideas about uh, uh, metabolomics in single cell resolution. The second project is uh, we are interested in mass spec imaging of uh, in vivo isotope labeling. So we grow plant with a stable isotope like certain carbon, deuterium, or 15 nitrogens and we are tracing how they are metabolized within the tissue uh, in single cell resolution. The last project is a forensic project. Uh, we are analyzing fingerprint uh, chemicals and we are especially interested in the kinetics of uh, fingerprint lipid degradation um, by monitoring their reaction with ambient ozone. So you don't need a special skill other than uh, what you have learned from undergraduate uh, chemistry labs. Uh, if you have some experience in mass spec or some computer code, that would be great, but uh, it's not necessary at all. Uh, so what you need the most would be uh, passion for science, uh, curiosity, and then some strong will to find scientific truths. I'm trying to be hands off. Uh, I want my students to fail and learn from it. Uh, I don't want to dictate what to do next. Uh, then you'll never learn uh, how to figure it out yourself. But if it takes too long, um, you know, months have passed and then you are struggling uh, to make a progress, then, may, then I may interrupt and then trying to help you uh, and even, even, even working together and to find the solutions. But I'm, I'm trying to be, to make yourself to be independent. Uh, that, that's what PhD is all about. So uh, because we are uh, technologists uh, working and collaborating with the uh, biologists are very important. Uh, we collaborate with um, many plant people uh, in GDCB or um, BBMB and also we collaborate with pl plant people in Kansas State, University of Nebraska and University of Wisconsin Madison uh, and we also collaborate with uh, biomedical scientists in U of Iowa and also Feinstein Institute in New York. It, it is very important. Uh, so when I was a postdoc and uh, my wife uh, was struggling, we had a new baby, but I was working until like 11 p.m. or midnight. And so uh, after that, I, I changed my working style. I start work early in the morning and make sure I spend time with my family in the evening. So I usually almost I don't walk at night uh, in, in the evening now. So I think I, I have the same principle to my students too. Uh, I don't dictate what to do, uh, whether they should come in in the evening or weekend. You have freedom, you have your life. You decide what to do. Uh, make sure to make a progress, uh, adjusting your uh, lifestyle as needed. Uh, but, but we, we are human being. Uh, balancing work and life is absolutely important in the long run. So most of my students are in industry. Uh, some of them are in pharmaceutical companies, some are in biotech, some are in some other uh, some life science companies. 
but I do have some students in uh, who are in academia teaching mostly in primarily undergraduate institutions. So uh, it's a small, safe town. So it's a good place to raise your kids and um, do the science. Um, and the people here at Iowa State are very nice and collegial, not only in chemistry department, but also throughout the campus. Uh, if you have some new ideas, you can just shoot an email and they are probably willing to talk to you and at least listen to your ideas. So it's really good to collaborate by simply uh, trying to, you know, get a touch with them.